Welcome to Land of House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Basically, water falls into this side, closes this valve, activates this valve, builds pressure, and then sends water uphill. So normally, when you first install your ram pump, or if you've drained the line going uphill to your storage tanks, you have to sit here and manually press the waste valve until enough pressure or water in the delivery pipe can push back down on the tank. After that happens, it'll just cycle on its own and work normally. Well, a subscriber of mine, Workbench Z, asked what happens if you artificially create back pressure by closing the delivery pipe at the top. So basically, there would be nowhere for the water to go. It would just build pressure as it pumps. And then once it has enough water in that line, you can open the top back up and it should work without having to sit here and manually press this valve over and over and over again. So in this video, that's what we're gonna test out. I'm going to sit here and manually press to see how many times it takes to get to the top. And then we will flush the line and I'll close the top and see if we can't let this cycle quicker and I won't have to sit there and push it so much. So let's jump over here to my test pump and we will begin this uh, attempt to hopefully reduce the amount of times we press this valve. Normally the source for the ram pump would be in a creek, but this time I have got a bucket with a float valve and that's our water source. I've got a 20 foot drive pipe, which comes down here to a half inch ram pump. So from the pump, I've then got a garden hose and that circles up the hill and goes up to the porch of my house. So that will be our test setup. In order to make these two tests consistent, I'm going to open up the delivery side here. Water is going to fill that pipe to match the source. So now if I open up the drive pipe, the pump has closed, the valve is closed. And that means it's time for me to start cycling this to see how long it takes to get uphill. So basically as soon as this starts to cycle on its own, I'll be able to stop the count there and then we will go back and do the other tests. So, all right, here we go. One, two, three. As you can see, this is gonna take a while. It could take up to a hundred times or more. So I will continue counting and bring you back whenever it's ready. I just manually cycled the pump 100 times. If you follow your delivery pipe up, you can oftentimes pick up your pipe and see how heavy it is. And that will kind of show you where the water has gotten to. So let me see here. Yep, I think it's there. Yep, it seems heavy there. So anyway, you can find out where... All right, it doesn't seem heavy there. So we are about right here in this spot. So. If I were to take you from the pump right there to about here, we're not even halfway to the height we're trying to get to. So we still have a ways to go. At 207 manual presses, it's starting to get to the point where it will cycle on its own. So let's see here, eight, nine, to 10, to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, it's really close to going on its own. Okay, let's go ahead and call it there. So it was 260 manual presses, basically, to get this running on its own. Up here at the top, I have got a ball valve, which I'm going to install here. And this will let me close off the delivery up top and hopefully produce that artificial back pressure that will allow the pump to basically cycle uh, against a big uh, column of pressurized air and fill up that pipe quicker. So, all right, let's go down and drain this and see how well it works. All right. Okay, I'm gonna let all that water drain back out of the pipe before we begin this test again. The delivery pipe has now been drained. I'm gonna go ahead and reattach this. I've already closed the valve up at the top, so that is ready, which means we are prepared to begin this test to see if this saves us a tremendous amount of time. So, all right, whenever I open this, once again, it will fill up that pipe to match the source. And now we will begin to press this valve and see if it will allow the pump to use less cycles. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight. This time at 106, it's starting to try to work on its own. It's under eight, nine, 10. All right, 163 is where it started to operate on its own. So yeah, it saved us about 100 pushes, which is good. So let's let that run for a moment and then we'll go open the top and see if it continues to run or if the pump stops. As you're watching this ram pump test, keep in mind that I have four different sizes of ram pump available in the pre-assembled and the do-it-yourself kit model. Check out the links in the description down below. It's possible and probably likely that as soon as I open this, the pressure will release and the pump is going to stop. Let's see what happens here. Yep, okay. And the pump has stopped. Let's go see how many more pushes we have to make to get this thing to uh, continue on its own. All right, we're at 160, so let's see what we got here. At 233, it's starting to cycle on its own again. All right, so I just surpassed the previous test, and that means it is less efficient to close off the top and try to do it that way. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so right around 300 cycles by doing that close off method. So what I'm gonna say is it's way better to just sit there and manually press that until the delivery pipe is full. Because it also sat there and cycled several times before it um, was you know, ready uh, to be opened. I let the pump cycle for a while so we could see what the half inch output is up here. There we go. It may not look like much, but over the course of 24 hours, that right there is a lot of water. Thanks for watching another one of my ram pump videos. We've determined that it's actually a lot better to just sit here and manually press the waste valve to fill up the delivery going uphill. Instead of trying to cap off the top, let it build pressure and then open it to hopefully pull that water up further. It just did not work at all. So there was uh, 40 extra presses of the waste valve whenever I tried to close off the top. So at least we know now, there's really no way around sitting here and manually pressing. Now there is one thing you can do if you are installing this kind of pump for the very first time you can have all of your delivery pipe downhill from the pump, let it fill up, and then drag that pipe up to the top. That does mean it's gonna be a lot heavier, especially if you're trying to climb 50, 60 feet up. So keep that in mind, it is a possibility. I personally would rather just grab a stick, sit here and press this valve and let it fill up on its own. All right, like I said before, I have Ram pumps available for sale in both assembled and uh, do-it-yourself models. So check out those links down below. I'm Seth with Land the House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.